Aloha, welcome to another video for IS330 Management Information Systems at Brigham Young University, Hawaii. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about business processes. Information systems are made up of hardware, software, data, procedures, or processes, and people. So in this module, we'll start looking at what these processes are. A business process is defined in your textbook as a network of activities, resources, facilities, and information that all work together toward accomplishing a business goal. Okay. So we'll talk about, let's talk about each of these pieces. Okay. A process, a business process is a network of activities, resources, facilities, and information. So what is an activity? An activity is something that takes inputs and transforms them into an output. Okay. So in your day-to-day -day life, uh, cooking food may be an activity. It takes an input, does something to it, and produces something else. Okay. So that's how you can kind of see um, what activities are. Okay. So what are some activities you might find in business? You have purchasing goods, receiving and stocking inventory, and paying for goods received. Uh, selling items is also an activity. Okay. Uh, so any of these, these basic business activities that you can think of. Okay. If you're running the library, next time you're at the library and you're at the um, circulation desk, you're checking out a book. So checking out materials for a library is an activity. Okay. So activities are those things that receive inputs, transform them, and generate outputs within your organization. Okay. Resources are items of value that the activities interact with. Okay. So if I'm purchasing something, a supplier is a resource. They're not part of my organization, but I need them to perform my so that I can perform my activity. Okay, so we interact with them. Similarly, customers are a resource in the uh, sales activity. Okay. Uh, suppliers, vendors are resources in the payment activity. So uh, resources are those things that add value to the business activity, but are not part of the organization. Then we get to facilities. Facilities are used for storing, organizing those um, inputs or the outputs as they're waiting uh, to be used for another activity. So for example, if you're running a restaurant and you purchase food to uh, prepare meals for your customers, then your the storage pantry, the, the refrigerator or wherever you store the food, is a facility. If you're in the business of managing and selling data, your database is a facility. So even if you're not in the business of managing data, your inventory database is a facility. So facilities can be for either physical goods or information goods. But the idea, they're, they're a storage location for managing those resources. So we interact with, we, we bring items into inventory, we take items out of inventory. We update the inventory database. Uh, when we add something to it, we decrease the quantity on hand in the database when we take items out of inventory. So those are facilities. The last item we have is information. What is information? Information has lots of definitions. We could spend an entire semester on a course of defining what information is. But in a very basic sense, information involves organized, structured data and context. Okay. So data are facts, like your date of birth, your salary, uh, the date of purchase of an item, quantity of goods sold. Those are facts. Information takes those facts and puts them into some sort of context. When you calculate and compare one person's salary 
to the average salary for all employees in that, that category of worker class, then now you're creating information. If you're looking at the sales figure for the quarter and you're comparing it with the sales, quarter for la sales uh, revenue for last quarter, you've created some information. You're putting the information in context. If you're looking at um, your uh, total number of goods sold versus the total number of goods sold across the industry, now you're creating information. If you can identify trends or patterns, you're creating information. Anytime you organize data and put it into a context, you're creating information. And usually that information is designed to answer a question. So if it answers a question, if it's structuring the data, if you're doing some sort of comparison or identifying a trend, um, you're pretty, uh, if you're, even if you're just aggregating things, so you take every employee's salary and you calculate an average, that's information. So information can have varying levels of complexity and summarization, but all of these mean that the, the data are being organized, structured some way, so that you can answer questions. So that's a business process. You need activities which transform inputs into finished goods. You need resources from which to obtain or deliver your inputs and finished goods or, or your payment for these things. And the information is flowing back and forth between activities and between resources and even between uh, the activities and, say, the facilities for, for the data, like databases. So those are the components. You'll need to be familiar with them. And what you're going to need to be able to do is, given some sort of scenario, let me describe a business process, and then you'll need to be able to identify what the activities, the resources, the information, and the facilities are. That's it for this video. Mahalo.